Hey, my G, Naramale, Alpha. How are you there? Oh, you are coming to Nigeria soon. Okay, now. Good and fine. No, just let me know. Anytime you are coming, let me know. So that uh, I will help the matter. So that we will uh, go wait for you at the airport. Hmm? Just show. Show face. Yes, because nothing they happen. Nobody will touch you. Nothing will they by your side. We are Malians. Nothing they happen. Well, uh, that's Naramali. I just spoke to Naramali. <laughs> and the guy said he's coming to Nigeria. That he's tried as much as possible to come to Nigeria. Not just only that, he said he's innocent. Completely innocent. That he doesn't know why you guys are accusing him. For what he didn't do, directly or indirectly. In fact, let me read you what he said recently. He released a public statement through the Malian's family. He said, listen guys, he said, very long paragraph, very long statement. He said, in the last few days, there has been a lot of onslaught on my person and reputation globally. Naramali, you don't have a reputation globally. Over the death of my former signee, all manner of stories has been woven against me in respect of his untimely death. I have not only been in shock over the death of the disease, whom I consider to be my brother and member of our music family, but over the various lies spread and threats against me. Before I progress further, let me say that as it is traumatizing for a lot of people to bear, the reality of Moba's death, so it is for me. May his gentle soul continue to rest in peace and may God grant his family the fortitude to bear the irrepressible lust. Permit me to categorically state that I have no hand in the death of Mobad, either directly or indirectly. It is not usual, it is unusual in the industry, just like in several other industries, to have family frictions. If even amongst blood relatives, Truly, we had our own share of misunderstanding while working together. But the disagreement between us was never to the extent being painted by some highlands. It never degenerated to the extent of wishing each other death. Even at that, we were resolving our business dispute legally before he had passed. He said they have family issues every day. Himself and Mubad, they had their own issues, but they always try, but they always try to iron out their issues. That he has never resorted to them which, wishing each other dead. But you guys will recall, as at when Mubad was leaving Naramali house, when he was beaten, he made a live video and he said, if anything should happen to him, we should hold. Naramali responsible. He mentioned their name, Samlari, Zinuliski, and so many other Malian family. He mentioned their name. So if they said that the matter never resorted, uh, resorted to them wishing each other dead, it's a lie. Bobadi who said it. So let me continue, guys. He also said, I have chosen not to say anything since due to, to being 
distracted over his death. And in order not to jeopardize the investigation being carried out by the government agencies. In addition, I have been out of the country since the 31st of August 2023, and I'm yet to return. In the light of the police invitation, I am making an arrangement to return to the country to assist the investigation and give my version of the event. I am fully cooperating with the police team and I and I certainly have no reason to be a fugitive when I have no hands in this death. I am certain that the culprit behind this death and as a vendetta against me and are fueling public opinions to have me launched for reasons known to them. In due time, the circumstances surrounding Mobile's death will be unveiled and the world will know the truth. This kind of scenario of attempting to set someone up is not novel in the industry as other great musicians have experienced the same and came out better and stronger. My will not be an exception, as I am innocent of the accusations. Mubad left the labor in September 2022. The labor accepted his departure. Malia Music did not stop or interfere with his career or release releases since, and he has been with one RPM legal effort are made to reconcile his concern regarding the work we have done together. The rumor regarding the label being a drug cartel are untrue. I am not a drug lord. Neither do I, neither do I, Malian, belong to any cult or fraternity. I am dedicated to proving my innocence and I am cooperating with the authority to clear my name with sufficient evidence. Malia Music is an independent label run by a small, intimate, intimate team. We run a legitimate label that focuses on championing exceptional talent, breaking new art, and nourishing them. I would like to clearly state that I have never fought or attacked Mubad. For the avoidance of doubt, I have never instructed anyone, friend, known associate, or fans to attack or harass Mubad. With regard to this talent on the label, none of our artists ever fought or mistreated Mubad. Naramal is lying there. He said, No of Naramalia artists has ever fought. Or maltreated Mubad. That is a lie. And he said he has never sent anybody to beat up Mubad. That is a lie. Then Sam Larry needs to come out and tell us exactly what he knows. And don't just only that. Not just only that, guys. So you mean all those uh, fighting and everything in Malia House? All those things were just. Uh, we are just for fun. Nothing really happened. Come on, man. That is a big lie. Should I repeat that paragraph again? No, you guys had it correctly. So then he, he, he also said, remember I said, it doesn't belong to any court group, any fraternity, and is not a drug lord. Malian is not a drug cartel. Nothing that he doesn't do drugs. That is a lie. Well, he also said, I share my deepest condolences to the family. Let be mindful as we seek justice to focus on supporting the police and authorities with relevant information and evidence surrounding his death so that those responsible will be apprehended. I am positive that at the end, of the day, the truth will prevail and I shall be exonerated. 
My lawyers are already in touch with the police and government agency and will support in every way necessary. Without a doubt, I will honor his memory and I promise to do the right to do right by him and his family. But his mom and dad are accusing no. His mom is accusing you. Meanwhile, the father is accusing the nurse. Naramali the lie for the Naramali the lie when he said they have never sent somebody to attack. May they arrest all of them. May they arrest all of them. Let them arrest them and then let them give statement. Individual statement. Just imagine, guys. I believe Naramali no be by Mubad. But is not innocent. It's not innocent. There are some other things that led to this. Of course, it might be family problem, but there are some other aspects about his life that people were not really pleased with. Was the constant, were constantly making life unbearable for this young man. Those are the other things we are talking about. Hmm? Apart from say whether na you buy ammo or not be you buy ammo, we have so many other things involved as well. So guys, that is exactly what Naramali said. He said he is innocent. He doesn't have hands or bastard. And you guys should leave him alone. 